Mask Monday. Almost Christmas. I didn't get Christmas cards out to most of you like I was going to. I'm, now it's pretty much too late. You won't get them in time. Maybe next year. Um, in case you can't tell what I am. I'm a rain. Oops. Got lots of goo in it. Ugh. Shoot. Got it all over my new blanket. Um, it's a reindeer with calming sh it's a calming sheet mask with a reindeer face <laughs> uh, this is like a sneak preview of my christmas box i got from crystal at real lady electrician we did a christmas gift exchange and this is one of the things i got but i wanted to do it before christmas i opened it already and filmed it already and we're just uploading it christmas morning first thing like 12 a.m so so sneak peek of what i got and i got these at um shop miss a if you didn't see that video i'm going to do a i got a um, for some reason, they keep sending me these free, so I keep taking them. I don't really need any more underwear, but they keep sending them to me for free, so who's going to turn down free? This is um, Heaven Panties, and they are, they have this thing where if you post things and answer quizzes and give reviews and things, you can get stuff free, so it's not a bad deal. So you can see the color. Looks like it's, I don't know. They always come in this cool package. And you can see like through what it's gonna look like, but it looks like two colors, maybe black and purple or something. Oh, let's see what I got. Oh, it's navy blue. I guess the purple was just the card showing through. I have some very similar to these ones. Oh, these look really, yeah. They have these really deep cut legs. I don't like these kind. They don't stay up on me. I got some green ones like this that I ended up throwing away because they did the whole thong thing and I don't like that at all. So we'll try these on, but they may not, those might get thrown away too. <laughs> so I, what I have for you today while we do the mask is uh, get to know me Christmas. There's 25 questions. Um, what is the best or worst Christmas present you ever received? One of the ones I liked the least when I was still married, I got a vacuum cleaner. Now, if you ask for a vacuum cleaner and you want a vacuum cleaner, that's one thing. But if they give you a vacuum cleaner and you wanted something more personal, makes you feel like that's all I think you are is a, you know, good for is being a housewife. So I didn't particularly appreciate the vacuum cleaner. Describe a Christmas present you wanted badly as a kid but never received. Oh, geez, I don't know. I can't think of anything. I mean, we were pretty poor, so we didn't get a lot of presents. And we're talking 70 years ago, so I don't remember a whole lot of when I was a little kid. I remember a few things here and there, but I can't remember a present I really wanted that I didn't get. Um... Name something about Christmas that most people like, but you hate, or at least dislike. Well, I'm not sure most people like this, but I can't stand cheesecake. Not cheesecake. Fruitcake. That's one of those things you either love it or you hate it. And I, I don't mind a fruitcake type batter with like dried fruit in it, but I don't like the candied fruit. That's the part I don't like. So, uh, are you a fruitcake person? Most of us are not. A lot of people are not fruitcake people. I hear jokes about the same fruitcake getting passed around from family to family to family year by year. <laughs> oh, this blanket got goo all over it. It's my new blankie I just got on my um, Luxury Diva and, and the mask dripped goo all over it. Now I'm going to have to wash it again. Um, you could only have one type of Christmas candy this year. What would you choose? 
probably my fudge that I make. I make that fudge where you use um, like marshmallow cream and chocolate chips and uh, sweetened condensed milk. That one, or is it evaporated milk? I think it might be evaporated milk because it's got sugar in it. So I don't think it's sweetened condensed milk is evaporated milk. And it makes a real smooth, creamy fudge. I don't like fudge that's gritty. A lot of people, I don't think they cook it long enough because you have to cook it like a really long time and keep stirring and stirring and stirring. And, and if you don't do that, it's the sugar doesn't dissolve and it's gritty. And I don't like gritty fudge. I like it smooth. What holiday movie or special do you watch over and over and over again? Um, I really like It's a Wonderful Life. I watch that almost every year. I haven't watched it yet this year. And the same with Elf. That's another one of my favorite Christmas movies. I haven't watched it yet this year either we've been watching like hallmark christmas movies um but we haven't i think i'm the only one that likes those too so i'll probably just watch it by myself <laughs> um what's the weirdest ugliest christmas decoration you've ever owned hmm. well i don't usually buy things if i think they're ugly or weird we have a bunch of um nativity scenes that have come from other countries so sometimes they're a little different than something we would have but they're not ugly they just might be a little strange for our taste but i really like them they're like made out of sticks or card wood or something from another country and they're kind of cool i think <laughs> um uh, what was Christmas like when you were growing up? Well, we didn't open our presents on Christmas Eve. We opened them on Christmas Day, and we usually got an orange in the toe of our stocking and a little bit of candy and maybe some socks or underwear in our stocking, mostly. And then just one or two presents because we weren't very wealthy at all we were pretty poor so we were lucky to get anything so we were just happy to get what we got um who was the toughest person you have to buy for this christmas yeah my son he just finally this week put a few things on a christmas list and it's good thing thank god for amazon uh, prime where you can get stuff this in a day or two because you know you waited so long back in the day when you had to either go to the store and right now stores are out of everything or um you know if you order it from a catalog or something it would take weeks to get so amazon prime saved my butt this year <laughs> um let's see what is one thing you are most grateful for this holiday season Oh, just my family and being getting to all get together this Christmas. I mean, it's been hard getting us all together with it's basically nine adults. I mean, four of them are teenagers, but they're pretty near adults. You know, they're 16 to 19, so pretty close to being adults. And it's just hard pinning everybody down to get everybody together at once. So I'm just happy we're all going to be together on Thursday. We're doing our Christmas a little early because... My son's a firefighter and, you know, we just work around his schedule. Mm. If you could travel anywhere for Christmas, where would you go? Oh, wait a minute. I missed one. Oh, I missed a bunch of them. <laughs> um, share one vivid Christmas memory, good or bad. Um, I was in the hospital over Christmas once, a couple times, but... One, the most memorable one, I was in the hospital for four months. And my grandson was, the one that's 16 now, was just a baby. He wasn't even walking yet. So they wasn't supposed to leave my room, but they let us go down to where this lounge thing. And we turned a bunch of chairs over on their side so he couldn't get out and crawl around. Because, you know, who knows how clean the hospital floors are. <laughs> and we had Christmas with me in the hospital. Um... So that one was pretty memorable. Uh, what's your favorite or least favorite Christmas song? Um, I'd say Silent Night's my favorite. I don't like, I mean, I've got, there's a couple local channels that play Christmas 
songs from, you know, Thanksgiving through Christmas. And one of them's like, does more the carols and stuff. And the other one does more the secular stuff. And I, I get tired of the, this, you know, five or 10 secular ones that they seem to play over and over and over and over and over, like walking around the Christmas tree and um, silver bells. And there's just a few, few of them and they just play the same ones over and over and over and you know throw some carols in there it's about jesus after all good grief who cares about i saw mommy kissing santa claus <laughs> um if you could travel anywhere for christmas where would you go well i don't know i want to be with my family so they don't all have to come with me <laughs> I always wanted to go to Ireland, but I can't really fly long distances anymore. Um, I have a clotting disorder and it's not a good idea to be on long plane rides when you can, you get blood clots easy. So um, if we could just be tra magically transported to Ireland and all spend Christmas together in Ireland, that, that would be my ideal, I think. Cause I'm mostly Irish. So I just always wanted to go to Ireland. Um, what is the most memorable thing that's happened to you since last Christmas? Oh, geez, I don't know. Not a whole lot. Same old, same old. <laughs> Nothing really exciting. Got out of the house. Last, last year we were pretty much still all trapped in the house. So this year, this Christmas we're, uh, I got the, not wearing a mask and I'm going out pretty much wherever I want to. So that's, Compared to the last year, that's pretty memorable. Um, would you rather have three, oh, what's your least favorite item on your Christmas to-do list? I keep skipping some of these. Um, I don't like wrapping. I'm not good at it. I don't like wrapping presents. I mean, you do it because you got to, but I should just buy a bunch of gift bags and tissue paper and be done with it. But I try and wrap them and they don't turn out looking that good usually. <laughs> um, would you rather have three foot of snow or no snow at all? Oh, no snow at all, hands down. Don't like being cold. Oh, this weather is so crazy. Tonight is supposed to be 27, I think, a low. And on Christmas Day, 85. For high, of course, not a low, but still. Friday and Saturday is supposed to be 85. I mean, our weather's just been like this, and everybody's sick because that up and down, up and down, up and down just messes with your sinuses and allergies and all that, and it's just messing everybody up. Everybody's coughing and hacking and sinusy and stuff just from the weather changing abruptly every other day. It's like 70, and then it's 50, and then it's... 80 and then it's 40 and it's just crazy i mean it's like this in texas usually but usually not this bad where it's just ridiculous i mean 85 and on christmas day is nuts it's never been like that since i've lived here um let's see if you if someone offers you a gift card to any store you wanted which one would you choose does amazon count as a store I'd pick the Amazon because you can get pretty much anything there. If not, maybe Hobby Lobby or Walmart. You can get almost anything you want at Walmart, too. So I like to craft, so Hobby Lobby would be good, too. If I can't use can't use the Amazon, I'd say Hobby Lobby or Amazon or um, Walmart. Um... What's your favorite holiday and least favorite holiday? Yeah, my favorite holiday is um, Christmas, actually. My least favorite is Halloween. I don't really care for Halloween. Never really cared for it. I mean, you're sending your kids out in the cold, in the dark, to get something you don't want them to have. I just, yeah, no. And I don't like horror stories or ghosts and monsters or any of that kind of stuff, so... Yeah, Halloween's not my least favorite, is, is my least favorite. Sorry, Tiffany. <laughs> like, Tiffany loves t-shirts. I think that's her favorite holiday, but not me. Um, what's your favorite character from a Christmas-themed movie, book, or TV special? Well, I like Linus from the Charlie Brown special. 
Um, I like uh, George Bailey from It's a Wonderful Life. I like Elf from Elf. Uh, what's the best gift you've ever given someone? Hmm. I don't know. Best gift I've ever seen someone get was when my granddaughter was 11 years old. She was given the chance to go on her first mission trip with her parents to Uganda, and it just changed her life. She's gone on six mission trips total now, and her career is, that she's training to be, it's a, um, it's called bioag engineering, and it's, where you can go help third world countries develop their agriculture and their like water sources and that kind of stuff. And so that's she does something she'd like to do is go to third world countries and help them become second world countries. <laughs> um, if you were Santa Claus, what type of cookie would you want to be left out for you on Christmas Eve? My favorite Christmas cookie is uh, frosted sugar cookies and of course now they'd have to be gluten-free frosted sugar cookies but definitely frosted sugar cookies that's my favorite christmas cookie and um name three words that best describe christmas to you uh jesus family and love Describe a funny Christmas card you've given or received. Mm. I usually make mine, so they're usually not that funny, other than, you know. I made a bunch of gnomes and um, snowmen that I gave away this year. They're not cards, but they were kind of funny. <laughs> Um, would you rather build a snowman, go sledding, have a snowball fight, or stay inside drinking hot cocoa? I'll stay inside and drink the hot cocoa. As we said before, I don't like being cold. <laughs> the true meaning of Christmas is fill in the blank. Um, it's all about Jesus and how he came to redeem us and give us salvation and all that. So I would say that's it. That's all about Jesus. Alrighty. That's 24. Are there 25? Nope. There's only 24. 24 Christmas questions. So what'd you think? Do you like them? I'm not going to type them out for you. So you have to go look them up yourself. See if you can find them online. <laughs> Let's see. What was it called? WhiteElephantRules.com is where I found them. I don't know. I just Googled um, All About Me Christmas or something like that. Or Get get to Know Me Christmas. That's what I think I Googled. Or Christmas Get to Know Me. Something like that. So I found some that had like 100. And I'm like, hey, I think 24 is plenty. We're already 18 minutes in. So I should talk to you again before Christmas. I have a wee blessings that I don't know when it's going to get here. It's not even shipped yet. So I thought I'd get it before the end of the year, but they haven't even shipped it yet. And shipping's pretty crazy. So I might not get, definitely won't get it before Christmas and probably might not even get it before the end of the year because that's why I'm not going to. I was going to try and get Christmas cards out to y'all. I've sent a few out, but then I got busy and never finished them. So those of you who I didn't send a card for to, I love you, but I'm just not going to do it. It's just too late. And I don't really have time. It's I'm kind of busy this week. So sorry, maybe next year. So it's been 20 minutes, so it's, I'm sure it's time to take this puppy off. It's still kind of cold, even after it's been on my, been on my face all this time. It's still kind of cold. <laughs> oh, my hands are. Ugh, it's pretty sticky. My hands are sticking together. Where's that? I had a towel somewhere to wipe my hands off. Ugh. Here we go. 
I keep this on my little chair here. If you look here, here's some cards I got from y'all. Thank you much. I appreciate it, even though I'm going to be a slacker and not send you any cards. I don't know. I'm not sure I like this one. It was too sticky. But it was cute. It was really cute. But I guess it'll eventually soak in. Well, you all have a good evening. Have a good week. You probably only have to go probably four days at the most this week. Some of you will get the whole week off, but most of you should get Friday off because Christmas is on a Sunday. I mean, Saturday. So they should, they should, they better give you Friday off to replace Christmas. If nothing else, you might get Thursday off too to replace Christmas Eve. So hopefully y'all have a short week, you working ladies out there. And we will talk to you later on this week for something or another. We'll find something. I know my ice cream's on the way. So if you don't know what ice cream is, it's a, it's like BoxyCharm kind of, but it's all makeup. And you always get a complete big palette every time. So I guess I'm done. If, if you enjoy unboxings, Mass Mondays, I do clothing, makeup, unboxings, all that kind of stuff. I do Mass Mondays. I do... Um, either Fabulous Friends Fridays or Fun Fact Fridays. I'll do Taste Test Tuesdays a lot. Um, just different stuff like that. So if you enjoy that kind of content, please subscribe. Please come back. I appreciate it. And I do a lot of giveaways. In fact, I have one coming up the end of this month and one coming up mid-next month because I'm doing a couple collabs that are different makeup ones. One's a New Year's Eve look using gold, silver, and black. But I think I'm just gonna use black and gold. And then in January, we're doing a winter wonderland one where we use silver and blue and white. So I'll be watching for those. There's. 10 to 16 of us somewhere in there I don't know the usual crew so we all do giveaways so that's a way to get to or most always not not everybody does it gives away every time I mean some do some don't some do it all the time some do it once in a while I usually do at least something every time so just be watching for that because giveaways are always fun oh and I want a giveaway so I should get that pretty soon so I can let you know what I won and we'll talk to you real soon. Bye.